People are telling you that your product is too expensive. It's because you're not leading with enough certainty. I don't get money excuses. Not that people that are on my page, not that everybody can afford it, but if they can't, they literally don't talk to me until they can. Because I'm so certain that this product will change your life. I'm so certain this business can transform everything. I'm so certain that network marketing can transform anybody's life who's willing to do the work that they won't talk to me until they can afford the product. I have so much certainty about my journey and where this is going and the fact that it works that they won't reach out to me and be like what if I can't afford it they're already figuring out ways to afford it before they ever even talk to me because my certainty is so strong around the product in the business what's up I just realized I've been streaming in 720 which is totally fine but uh, I also glitched out my camera, so we're going to see if this works. Late night live crew, what's up? If you don't know what that is, I sometimes can't sleep, so we stream late at night. And it's not super late, but I'm just going to stream. What's up? Hey, Chicky Chick. Hey, Tanya. Before I say hello to everyone in the chat, and by everyone, I mean the two people in the chat right now, I am going to put, oh my God, something happened when I disconnected my camera. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, I do have technical difficulties sometimes on my channel, and it's just, you know, I'd love to say that this doesn't happen. This literally happens every single stream. Uh, I just, I can't stop. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be listening to another participant of the Columbia fiasco. I, I keep oscillating between fiasco and scandal, and uh, you're probably going to hear me say both. Uh, I don't know what to say. If you watch any of my Columbia videos or Aaron's or Julie Joe's or Savannah's or Clown Towns or Echo Echoes or any of the other creators doing this, um, be prepared for gaslighting, be prepared for, um, misinformation with regards to bodily functions. Uh, for example, saying that if you're, uh, in a situation where you may be dehydrated to hold your... Uh, pee in so that you can sweat it out which is not how that's not how your kidneys work okay and stuff like that I will make interjections if I think we need to do another um, trigger warning but we're gonna go ahead and run the please do not slap us YouTube intro so disclaimer Okay, we're back. You can't read? Wait, is it going too fast? Okay. <laughs> if you're joking, I know you're joking because you have, you're super smart. Um, I know they're too fast. Basically, don't dox people. Don't be, don't be a jerk. Uh, well, we're going to be a little bit of a jerk, but don't do ad hominem attacks. Don't make fun of people. I mean, in a, like, all the stuff. If you need to read the di the directions, I was gonna say read the rules, but I forgot to post them in the description. So we're gonna have to play it by <laughs> we're gonna have to play it by ear. I'm gonna put the cursey countdown timer here. I'm gonna put the live chat on the screen. Am I? Ah, I guess I need to say hi to everybody first. Lisa. Oh, cool, Lisa. Yeah, jump in anytime. Hunter, what's up? Charlene, I'm glad you're here. Late Night Live Crew, if y'all don't know what that is, it's been a thing since my channel started. <laughs> and I've been quite small for quite a long time, so we just have been playing games late at night. We've been doing crafting late at night. We've been reacting to videos late at night, hence Late Night Live Crew. Shadow, Coco B, Melissa! Yes, we do love new people in the chat. Chicky Chick, welcome. Gerilyn, hello, hello. Hello, hello everyone. We don't know what sleep is. We do not know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Jennifer, what's up? Daisy, Mia. Yes, I know. 
everyone's like, don't you want to let your other live ruminate so it gets more views? No. You know why? Because I'm stoking a fire. People are going to find the videos that they want to watch. And this situation, I feel like, is important to continue to um, look at the people who spoke out. And they're not speaking out in a way of saying, hey, nothing happened to us. They're saying this was incredible and stuff happened to us. And we, you know, enjoyed every second of it. So I'm going to switch scenes and we're going to put Cursey Countdown right here. And we're going to turn on chat. I need to put, oh, everything's purple. We're not going to be able to see that. Let me edit. We're going to reload it, hopefully get a different color. I don't know how to do the color, so uh, we're just waiting. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll, what does, is that just rotate? Hopefully it comes through. Let me go ahead and try to turn some of the lights down because it's a little, br it's a little bright. Oh my God. Oh, oh, why am I hitting the top of the roof? What in the world? I don't, I don't know why I'm flickering. Please hold on one moment. That She did go on the trip. She did not go to Cabo. So she was, uh, there are 16 people that went on the trip. Camera. Um, I will tell you who went on the trip and I don't know why I'm out of focus. 50 hertz should stop it from, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. This was so good. When I say so good, I was like avoiding, here we go. I, I still have my pillow. I'm sorry. Just awful. All right. I don't know why I'm out of focus. If you're wondering why I can't focus, we don't know. <laughs> All right, minimize, minimize this. It's still purple. I don't know why. I am sorry. We're going to move her to the center. I almost had this ready, and then I didn't. I will come back to the chat in one second. There we go. What? I don't... Um, hmm. You're lurking while you cook. Okay, Hunter, hope you have a... I, I, what are you making for dinner? I had macaroni and cheese and leftover um, fish for dinner, which doesn't sound great. Carbonara? That sounds great. By all means, keep helping... Keep... Keep helping Jesse Lee dig her hole deeper and deeper. I know some people are like, everyone's denying it. You know what was a red flag for me of like... Something is happening when Jesse Lee deleted her live, her first one, the one that we still have. That was like, okay. Also, Lynn, I have a lid on my cup. If you don't know why that's a thing, I've spilt liquid on my keyboard in multiple lives. All right. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um... I'm sorry you can't see the names. I don't know why it's purple. I don't know how to fix it. So it is what it is. Thank you for bearing with me. This is just what happens. I, <laughs> oh my God. All right. Is this, is this going to help? No, nope. my, my jacket is green, which is why I'm kind of see-through. So sorry about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Um, uh, It might be loud. Hello, 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 my beautiful humans. What's up? What's happening? How's everybody doing today? Happy, is it Wednesday? Wednesday? Happy hump day, everybody from Colombia. Super excited to be here with y'all today. I have about 10 minutes that I can go live and kind of share my I don't experience know with you guys from last night, y'all. This experience has been absolutely incredible and it's been like nothing I have ever experienced before. So I am so excited to share this with you guys and to really just... I challenge you guys to take your power within your hold, 
challenge the way that you talk to yourself, just challenge so many things. So I'm gonna share this story with you guys because I think that this is so incredible. So for those of you guys that do not know, I am in Cartagena, Colombia uh, until Friday and we are here for an earned leadership retreat, but this one is different because it's all about growth and stretching and mindset and perspective and focus and vision casting and just. If you've already seen this, um, I understand tons of, I understand tons of people are covering it. Um, there's no like information control going on. Multiple creators are covering this because the more people who know about it, the better. Um, I've already sent out multiple links today to different people who want to cover stuff like this. Um, if you're a creator and you don't feel like you know the right people to ask for this content, some of it's still online. Or just send me a DM on Instagram. Um, I do have a full-time job, so sometimes I don't see my stuff. And tomorrow is going to be... I can't cuss yet, but tomorrow's going to be a, <laughs> a crapshoot. So if you need something, send me a DM and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay many different areas of growth, 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 growth. Okay. So as you guys are hopping on, if you can also, we found out why she is not in Cabo right now. She's moving back to Kansas. Did you know that Charlene? This one is different because we were kind of tortured. Yeah. Left over a year ago. Best decision ever. That's awesome. Geraldine. I'm glad you're out. I was in the empire and downlight of Britney's. Oh my God, no way. I'm so glad you're in the chat. I'm glad you got out. Um, I, oh, I forgot to say this. Let me People just say this. telling you that your product is too expensive? Wrong. Let me just say this. If this is going to be too, sometimes a Jesse Lee getting gaslit uh, is not the most fun in the world. And if you, this is too much, columbia fiasco content just top out it doesn't you're way more important than a view your mate way more important than a like like liking people and supporting creators your way your mental health is more important this is just your friendly neighborhood reminder to advocate for your mental health advocate for yourself so if you don't want to watch this that's totally fine we're um gonna be doing i get i i live stream all the time and we're going to be doing way more fun stuff when I can fix my camera situation so we can freaking craft. Okay. Well, let me turn the widget back on. All right, here we go. Because they're duplicating. Yep. Sadly, heading to bed. Yes, I'd love to hear what you think on the replay. I hope you have a great night's sleep. Yes, I missed the announcement. I just saw her, um, like her videos and her live where she's talking about moving back to Kansas, which, you know, you kind of think to yourself, is the empire crumbling because the the original 14, 8, 12, 24, 36, whatever that number is, uh, it um, Sydney didn't go to the Columbia deal. And then Sydney didn't, I don't think Sydney went to Cabo or Bahamas or whatever. If it's in the same place, I'm not good with geography. And then I know that they just signed their new home. And everyone was like, we're moving to Texas to support Jesse Lee. And now it is not that. So we're just, we're just wondering what the hell, what the hell's going on? I don't think hell's a cuss word. I'm not sure. Yes, welcome. We're so I'm so glad you're here. Hello. So many new people in the chat. Normally <laughs> normally it's just me me and Christina and sometimes Kira and Beth and Lynn and uh and um Sky and Mermeow. So hello and and Melissa catches the earlier one. So hello everybody. I'm glad you're here. Okay. It's 5:45 a.m. No way I'm jumping out now. <laughs> Oh, I'd probably fall asleep. 
Oh my god. Me, a hey, hello, how are you in the comments? If you guys are here, if you're catching the replay, go and drop below a hashtag replay. If you are new, welcome to my broadcast. My name is Brittany Anderson. Y'all can also call me hashtag BA Boss Babe. And I help moms build six and seven figure businesses utilizing social media in order to become and live debt free. And I guess maybe I should add travel the world as well onto that list as I have been doing a lot of that in the last five years, okay? But I want to talk to you guys about the experience that we had last night. So, um, Okay. Okay. I think Clown Town is warring with someone on Twitter. Um, I'm not sure about the energy level. Y'all know I'm a little bit chill. Sometimes I get riled up, but like, this is a lot. This is a lot of like energy for a live for me. I'm, not me, her. Watching her. No shade. I just don't know why we're screaming at the camera. M maybe it's an energy booster. Does this connect with people? I don't know. <gasps> Sydney ditched Eric Worre's mastermind, saving herself over $2,000 a month. Thank God, Melissa. Thank God. Wait, what? Yep. No, the um she moved to Texas, so did Sydney, so did um what's her name? The other one who has um who just got married in another country and has two girls. She moved to Texas. Um, lots of people have moved to Texas to be closer to Jesse Lee. I mean, that's what I assume it's to be closer to Jesse Lee. I know that's my pillow. I'm so sorry. It's just for comfort purposes because my chair is awful. Throughout this entire trip, we're doing all of these adventures and all of these Amanda. experiences with yep. very minimal information. So today, Thank you, uh, they told us we need to wear uh, sports clothes, uh, shoes that we are comfortable with hiking in, and two liters of water, and then, of course, sunscreen and bug spray. That's literally all the details we have, and I know we're not going to be back until after dark oh, cool, because Christina. I have listened to all of the cues Osprey. and all of the language, okay? Yep. So very, very minimal information. So last night, they said, come downstairs at X time, and we're going to do an exercise. All you're going to... Lots of people, lots of people moved to Texas for sure to be, I, I thought it was to be close to Jesse Lee, to be part of like the, the hive mind. Oh, that's just a joke. Um, I think one, Texas doesn't have income tax, so that's one thing. And another thing, I think they all wanted to be closer to Jesse Lee, or I assume so. Need is comfortable clothes and a blindfold. Okay, and they also told us to wear tennis shoes because they were being tricky. Okay, so they're giving us the instructions and they said the first thing that you're going to do once you are blindfolded is you are going to take off of your socks. You're going to, or you're going to take off your shoes. So we took off our shoes, we took off our socks Ugh. and they're like, now we're going to go out in the street and you have to figure out this exercise together. So we are walking barefoot and blindfolded in the streets of Colombia, Okay. First off, when I shared that I was going to Columbia, I had some people that were like, oh my gosh, you better be careful. I hope you don't get kidnapped. I hope you don't get trafficked. Oh my gosh, you better be careful here. You better be careful there. Oh, I've heard all these things about Columbia. And my question to you is if you had a physical, physical concern about my body being in Columbia, my question to you is, was that your experience when you went to Columbia? Yo, let me just say this. I don't have to be burned by fire to know that it is hot, meaning I would tell other people that fire is hot if I saw them getting too close to a hot surface or to a flame and they were not taking precautions to not get burned. Don't have to go to Colombia. Not that I would ever avoid Colombia, but I don't have to physically go to Colombia to know that there are some potentially risky situations that you would want to be aware of so that you can avoid them. The contempt on her face, the contempt with how she is describing this, 
I don't really understand. I mean, I do understand where it's coming from. I just don't, I don't know why we, by why she's not saying, yeah, they, I, I appreciate people looking out for me. I appreciate people speaking up if they see something, you know, that could be dangerous. And you know what? I am prepared, except we find out that they're not prepared. How, why do we know they're not prepared? Because they do stupid shit like we're about to hear. I'm just really quickly going to put an overlay on for my widget so I can turn on and off the comments at the end when I run the outro. Okay, let's go. Because if it wasn't your personal experience when you were in Colombia, how do you know that Colombia is not safe? Um, because there's something called statistics and crime reports and actual reporting on situations that happen in Colombia. Am I, am I not understanding what she's saying? I'm an hour ahead of you. No exciting news from the future. No, because I have good sense of to not go somewhere that is on the high alert level with the State Department, Jesse Lee Jr. Yes. Exactly. You know what? I need to fix this real quick. I'm just going to have it come from the other side so we're not getting motion sick. Uh, Fly in from the right. No, we'll just fly in from the top. That'll be better. That'll be less. That'll be less. There we go. Yes. Okay. Because science and the internet. Brittany gets angry very easily. You know, she does. Um... She seems intense, that's for sure. She does seem intense. Why is she mad that her friends are concerned? Nobody knows. You know, even if... Even if I was going to... I don't know. Where would I go? If I was going overseas to a, uh, to a country that had a higher um, than normal... Uh, or, or just situations. One, I'm not familiar with the culture. I'd want to look into that. If I wasn't familiar with potentially dangerous situations that wouldn't uh, wouldn't be the same here in the United States, I'd want to be aware of the differences. I, you know, you just want to go in and be prepared, especially in Colombia. No shade to Colombians at all. Shade to the cartel. You know what I'm saying? I've never done crack, but I know it's bad. Yes, exactly. Exact, exactly good point. Um, I also have the good sense to not walk barefoot in a busy city. You know, yes, you are correct. Good point. Okay, let's continue. Because you watched it on the news? Y'all. Oh my God, do not tell me fake news. No, 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 because um, there's something called the State Department that has reports that you can read. Am I losing my mind? I believe in the news. You heard it from who? This, the State Department? And it's the same thing in your life and in your business. Like, oh, it's so lonely at the top. How do you know? So I have to actually get burned to know that fire is hot? I actually have to get second or third or first degree burns to know that fire is hot and potentially um, permanently harmful? I have to experience every single thing to know the exact truthfulness of everything instead of potentially learning from others' experience? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> yeah come to norway low crime but we're so expensive that you'll spend slash lose all your money anyways i know i definitely know i would do i would lose it on crafts for sure she's big mad she's also sunburned i hope she put some aloe vera on <sighs> slow blink you're at the top you know it's lonely up there like don't give me opinions and feedback on things you haven't actually experienced You know, I thought this was just going to be a short video, but I'm um, irritated already.
create this fear and we take in these opinions of other people and it stops us from doing things that we want to do. So mm. many of you are not traveling, maybe because of the money, but you're also not traveling out of fear. You haven't left. No, no. I mean, yes, traveling is a luxury. It is a privilege for sure. I, and I know like a lot of people say, oh, your privilege is showing. My parents always told me like, specifically to identify the privilege to acknowledge it and to respect it at least that's what mine did like this is a privilege not everyone gets to do it so l please be respectful and behave in a way that like honors this experience that's what my that's what ex-cal and my mom have always done and so when people are saying your privilege is showing it also i feel like sometimes it makes people want to hide like their experience and I, so, you know, people, there are some people that do get to experience privileged things. I certainly do. And I know not everyone does. I've gotten to travel. I know not everyone does. It is a privilege. It is a, a, an incredible opportunity to be able to do stuff like that. It is. Being safe while you're getting to do that is important as well. Heather, what's up? Heather is, um, I love Heather's live streams. It's like a chill, peaceful, articulate vibe. And she's got a, a loyal crew of live, uh, live, uh, audience members who join her, her live. I always try to when I can, or I'll be cussing in her comment section being like, gosh, I missed another live. So she does some really cool videos and she's doing a Mary Kay one coming up this week. So on Tuesday. So definitely check her out. Um, she's sneaking up there to 300 subs and she's awesome. If you like the 30 minute to one hour minute kind of like range of condensed material with the limited to zero technical difficulties where there's always something to be listening to or watching this. That's your girl or woman, whatever the appropriate term is, but Heather is the creator for you. It's fun. It's a fun time. All right. Country because you're scared. You're fearful of what other people have told you about other countries that they have never been to. What? If no. you have not been to Colombia, I love you and I understand your intentions, but... Don't tell me that I'm making a wrong decision or don't tell me I'm going to an unsafe place. If you have never been here, you don't know any more about this country than the news has told you. Or the Department of Defense? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my God. I hope she treats her sunburn too. I hope she does too. I hope she did. Hello, Paige the Puppet. And we do this in every single area of our life, okay? No. So back to the story. We're blindfolded. And, and you're still yelling at us. Let me just look at this real quick. I'm going to pop over here for a second. I'm going to look up um, Columbia Department Um, Ministry of National Defense, that's in Colombia. Um, I'm trying to see where they would be able to find this. Is Colombia... <laughs> Oh, the State Department, not the Department of Defense, but probably they have something posted as well. Columbia Travel Advisory Level 4 Do Not Travel. That was in 2020. Come on, let's go. We're waiting for a page to load right now, so just bear with me. Um, travel Advisory January 4th Orange. Level 3 Reconsider Travel. Level 3 Reconsider Travel. I'm taking a screenshot. You know why? Because we've been gaslit the hell out of this situation. Reissued with updates to high-risk areas. The Colombia-Venezuela border region. Uh, do not travel to... Arauca? Um, Caca? 
excluding. I, I'm not tr pronouncing these correctly. I'll here, here. We'll just do this. This isn't just the news. Gosh, darn it. Harper, what's up? I'm just having technical difficulties. Okay, let me show you this in the live chat. Just drag and drop. Look at this. I'm going to put it over my face because Columbia Travel Advisory, January 4, 2023, Columbia Level 3. Reconsider travel. Country summary. Violent crime such as... Um, I, I'm not going to read these on online because I don't want to get slapped by YouTube, but widespread H A and A R organized criminal activity, such as extortion R like stealing and K I D N A P P I N G are common in some areas. U.S. government employees are not permitted to travel by road between most major cities. I know, I'm covering my... I, I don't care that I'm covering my face. I'm just... Look. <laughs> Dave? <laughs> Dave's already trained. You know what I'm saying? Dave, you already know. Technical difficulties are my brand at this point. I've tried to fix it. Let me chime in that my boyfriend is a federal government employee. Also with his level of security clearance, we cannot travel to places with a level two or higher risk level. That is good to know. Very good to know. And they're saying that here on this page, U.S. government employees must adhere to the noted restrictions. U.S. government employees are not permitted to travel by road between most major cities. Columbia's land border areas are off limits to government personnel unless specifically authorized. U.S. government employees may not use motorcycles. U.S. government employees may not hail street taxis or use public transportation. They're not playing around, Brittany Anderson. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. Brittany Anderson's a public figure, okay? I just don't... I just... <laughs> Traveling to Columbia, if what you're doing isn't advised, let alone when you're going, they're literally blindfolded. Good point, Chicky Chick. Good point. Okay. You're late, Dave. <laughs> you know, Dave, you didn't really miss that much. We've only you've only missed four minutes and thirteen seconds of us getting yelled at by Brittany by Brittany Anderson. The Canadian one says exercise high degree of caution and avoid all travel in border in border areas. We're not being uh, we're not exaggerating like it is literally beyond lucky that nothing happened to anybody on this trip. You know why? Because people in multi-level marketing flaunt their lifestyle everywhere. Jesse Lee Ward does. It seems like it seems like Jesse Lee Ward does her Rolex, her um, Lamborghini, her Porsche, her Range Rover, her two point five or five million dollar condo, all of her monies, all that stuff. <laughs> Beth, how do you know Columbia exists if you haven't been? You weren't there. <laughs> yes, that's such a good point. Oh my god. Hello. Good morning from Germany. It's 6 a.m. here. Hello, hello, welcome. Oh, cool. That's awesome, Heather. Alright, we're pressing play. And uh barefoot walking through the streets of Columbia. So here is the vision. We had to walk from our house and we slowly walked to another destination. They said now the goal. <laughs> <laughs> is for the person who is blindfolded to lead the person who is not blindfolded back to the house. So the per Okay, I know I'm pausing like every half a second, million, billion times. How? <laughs> Why would you not do a trust walk? Um, I wouldn't even do a trust walk here in the United States, honestly. 
why would you do it in a level three advisory uh, risk assessment uh, country? Barefoot and blindfolded. Why? I'm just asking. I feel like maybe my content is not even like making an impact, but that's okay because I'm still not blocked by Jesse Lee Ward and I'm not blocked by uh, anybody from the trip. So, I mean, I'm glad it's reaching all of (laughs) y'all, but, and I'm, you know, it does make it easier to grab stuff, but I'm just, (laughs) I don't know. I guess maybe they're, maybe they're not paying attention this weekend because they're all, except for Brittany, she's, she's moving to Kansas, so person that wasn't blindfolded was not to lead us back home. We were to use all of our other very, very, very heightened senses and our memory to get us back to the house. Their only job as the person guiding us was to make sure we did not get hit by a car. That Or step on a rusty nail. Or step on something that could have pierced your skin and given you tetanus or another kind of bacteria. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dave. (laughs) Was saying to Charlene, can't wait for JL's live where she yells at them, were you there? (laughs) Oh, my God. Why does she yell so much? I think she's trying to go for energy. And obviously, I listen to some of my stuff back and I'm like, I, you're you're definitely, um, you need to get some oomph in some parts, you know? <laughs> I'm mostly like very kind of a chill, mellow person. <laughs> oh my God. I think she is like a boiled lobster. She's so red and still cooking. She's just letting off some steam, which is why she's yelling. Okay, let me go back to lurking. Have a good night, Paige. Oh, make sure they didn't step on a bee. <laughs> Lynn, that was such a good reference. Lynn, that was such a good reference to the trial. I'm, I can't. That would be a great mashup. That would be a great mashup. Yes, Jennifer Wells was the one that did the Google Earth of the trip. I agree, Brittany. I Google Earth the road you all walked on. Super narrow, no shoulders, super safe. We did not get ran over by a horse and buggy that is trotting down our street. Okay, that was the only goal was for them to keep us safe. And they were not allowed to speak to us. So what? as you are blindfolded. What situation would this mimic in real life? I, I'm tell, I, I'm saying this in terms of. If you are visually impaired, you have normally a cane, potentially a guide dog, if you can afford it, or if you've been, if you have a, uh, what's it called, a scholarship for one, meaning you, like, it's paid by someone else, or you have someone to guide you who can see and hear and advocate for you and help guide you, okay? Are you trying to mimic trust? Like building trust? Like what situation would this actually have happened? Will we get any DC reacting to DC or not? You know, I was a bet. I was very bad in my last MLM. I got into a few um, tussles with my upline because I refused to do some stuff. But I have some stuff in the archive we can react to. I'm just not. um, I was very stubborn about not wanting to recruit if that makes sense i did a lot of behind the scenes stuff i did a lot of video editing for some bigger leaders i did a lot of um compliance work cleaning up our entire team's instagram account for non-compliant language because one of our uh cross lines got her account uh slapped for 30 days but it was either by young living or it was by instagram i don't remember which one um for non-compliant language and even from 2019 to 2021 when i left they still didn't understand the disc the income disclaimer disclosure using that in their pretty little graphics where they tell you they have hundreds of golds and silvers and 
diamonds and platinums on their team. And I, and they're like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, I and I say this as nicely as I can. We all can read. We can all read the policies and procedures. You know, yeah. It's just, uh, I don't do blindfolds. I shall explain why. I yes, dude, Melissa has the tea. Melissa has the tea. We need to schedule it because this is a live I cannot wait to do. A kidnapping? Oh, you're not wrong. Bunny, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I, I totally missed that one. 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 Very good point. Yep. All right, here we go. And you're trying to visually remember, like you're trying to visually walk yourself through the path. Like, okay, I walked out the front door of the house and I took a left and on the next block, I took a right. And then I walked about halfway through the block and then I took a left to go up into the park plaza. So you start having to listen to the sounds. Like we went through this debrief last night and it was all about, I heard the sounds. Like I knew I was at the street where I needed to turn left because I heard the live music that was on this side when we were walking there. I knew where to go because I was visually thinking of it. I could smell the smells of our street. I could hear the music that was on the corner. And I watched, I was blindfolded second. So I was guiding Miss Lindy Kiner. I was guiding her first. So we did hand signals where like this meant you need to step up or this meant you need to step down or like this, like a quick squeeze was like, there's kind of like some rough terrain. Okay, they don't necessarily have a like smooth sidewalks here, y'all. Okay, Hello. so it's like, it's gonna be a little bit bumpy, but you're safe. Um, but we, as people who were guiding, were not allowed to speak. They just had to use all of their senses, and we were basically there to keep them from running into traffic. I'm just saying, like, on a team situation, if you all have, if you are, and I'm trying to use the language, if, and even if you're not completely, like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble by saying this. What situation would your team be um, prevented from helping you like this? And what kind of trust does it build? Like, I also don't understand the trust falls because if you've ever been stabbed in the back by a teammate, after you trust them, you don't really trust people that well. When you have your manager who you've written out line by line by line training and that you've documented all of the attempts to go above and beyond because they don't understand how to use any Microsoft suite programs, so you give them a step-by-step -step on how to do stuff and that you are also doing your job and their job and then they still try to get you fired because they think that you are um uh trying to to uh make them fail at their job yeah i'm not I, like what what situation is that really going to be like i don't know Watching the others on the trip after Jesse is so fascinating. Also, good evening. Good evening, Blaze Goddess. How are you? And, and again, I think it's important. We saw the original live with Jesse Lee Ward. Then we saw the response where she responded to everyone. And then we were we saw, I think, I think that uh, Aaron and Julie Joe are going to do the response um, to this other live that we downloaded. And, and then we saw the response from Rendy, who was the one who got, who, anyways, Rendy's on the team now. We saw her live. Then we saw Christie's live, the one who said that she doesn't have diabetes anymore because she uh, considers herself free from that because of the trip. And then we're seeing this, and we and and um, Aaron dropped a video tonight of another girl, and I forgot her name. I think it's Sassy Keto Queen. What is it? It's one of the one of the women on the team who is talking about the situation, and the way 
the way that the team is talking, one, confirming everything that Jesse Lee said, and two, just the way they talk down to the country that they're in. It's just wild. Wild, wild, wild. <laughs> okay, I can't lurk with this one again. Does she think she is Liam Neeson and Taken? She can differentiate the smells and sounds from one street to the next? No, I'm pulling my hair with this. Christy, your hair looks nice. Don't pull it out. Okay, so that was the whole vision with that. If this sounds really cool to you, like I know maybe the shoe thing freaks you out, okay? But there's a lesson in this too. Um, don't get involved with this group because shoes, when you have access to them, are there to protect your feet. And oh, by the way, the person on the team who who is still diabetic, it can be very problematic for diabetics to have injuries to the bottoms of their feet. Did they give a shit about her? No. And then you also say, well, she could have advocated for herself. You're telling me that someone who has a, um, a condition that actually impacts their health would not feel out of place in a group of able-bodied people. And maybe they would not advocate for themselves fully because everyone else was taking off their shoes you're saying that that pressure wouldn't have potentially pushed her to do something that was not in her best interest i've been a part of too many groups where that pressure has pushed that has pushed you know me to do stupid stuff too yeah then we have the clip um who reacted to it gosh Mar Marco reacted to it. Always Marco. Who else reacted to it? We saved it. Um, it was from yesterday where she is doing a plank and she said that she considers the diabetic who went on the trip to have passed away and that she does not consider herself that she uh, has diabetes anymore and to thank Jesse Lee Ward and Sasha and Mateo for that. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. That's what she said. Choose shoes, merch. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Choose shoes. Exactly. Exactly. Because we were all so like, you want us to do what? You want me to take my sanitary socks and shoes off and walk in the street with a blindfold? You want me to do what? That is the response. That is the response that you should have continued speaking up and advocating for. No, we're not going to walk around Cartagena barefoot. Uh, and again, they are beyond lucky that nothing bad happened. Think about this. What if something did happen and they're going to say, oh, well, it was safe. So nothing ever would have happened then why, are, why is the country on such a high level of rethink your travel plans alert? What if something had happened and nobody would have had their fucking shoes on? Somebody answer that question for me, please. Hello, Jasmine. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease. Doesn't work like that. Yup. What's up, Clown Town? Are you, I was I was trying to figure out. I know that you and Echo Echo or um and Tish are going live, and I was like, earlier I was checking to make sure y'all weren't live before I went live, but um, I'm I'm here live, so uh I think Clown Town and Tish are doing a live at some point, so hop on over to them, for sure. What did Justine say? I missed it. I got made fun of on a paparazzi trip in Vegas for having issues with my with my, my legs and, and feet because of your diabetes. Are you serious? That's awful. I'm so sorry. The lack of care and empathy that people extend to others is shocking. 
I can't believe that. I mean, I can't believe that happened. I am disgusted that they treated you like that. That's effing horrible. I hope the people that said that will have a wedgie forever and that their socks never stay in place. <laughs> that's very that's a very nice um that's a very nice thing to say. Celeste, I don't know if I said hello to you. Hello. Thank you for licking the stream. I appreciate it. What's a little unnerving is I can see the down likes too, and so on my last several videos I've gotten down likes and I'm like, well, I guess I guess the uh Guess the Empire people don't like this at all. Or maybe it's Dominique Izzo. We don't know. And so we had hyped up this huge obstacle. And then at the end of it, being barefoot was the least of our worries. We weren't even focused like, oh my God. Being barefoot was the least of your worries? Barefoot, I'm barefoot, I'm barefoot. We were like, okay, I can do this. You could have taken the blindfold off at any point in time and found your way back to the hotel. The house, the villa you rented. What actual problem are we overcoming here? And in it. Was I the only one that paid attention in biology and science in school? I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just, it's just happening naturally. There's actual things in the street, like germs, that you wouldn't want getting on open cuts in your feet. And also potentially stepping in um, fecal matter would be something to avoid um just being obnoxiously american in another country would be also something that you just wouldn't want to do <sighs> can you imagine the audaciousness of jesse lee ward going to another country Saying that we're going to be doing all of these things. And just being re relatively, I say disrespectful to the area around. Because like it's, people are going about their business at night. And I wouldn't even go at, out at night if I could help it walking by myself where I live. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the chat. Oh, thank you for thank you for licking the stream. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I made love to the like button on my way in. In a few months, I'll have a stream, baby. I love that. I love that for us. Yes, good point. Sepsis can kill someone. Uh, yes, Harper, there's a reason why people wear shoes. And, and and listening to this, it's wild to know, like, foundational and immovable things about safety and health. And then listening that we are just haters and bullies and ex and taking things the wrong way. And it's like... Am I in a twilight zone right now? Am I in a twilight zone right now? Oh, I forgot to fix something. One second. Let me turn this off. One second. Sorry. I know. It's like, what the hell is going on? Edit. I'm trying to edit something on my video all right we're back sorry button play 
I have to remember it's this way and it's this way and I hear a horse and carriage over here and I hear the police coming here. Okay, I will tell you, <laughs> the police came because they were concerned that we were blindfolded leading the police came and you had literally zero respect for them coming and saying what the hell's going on the police came how did i miss this did I, i'm sure someone else has listened to this the police came and checked on them what karina what's up Hope you have a good night, y'all. Karina has been covering this. Um, she did a bilingual stream. She's incredible. She also gets under... She uh, Jesse Lee for sure knows who, who Karina is. And Karina gets under Jesse Lee's skin so fast. It is wild. Karina has a video on her channel of her talking to Jesse Lee Ward and Jesse Lee Ward losing her shit because Karina's in the live chat. And you also saw on the response video when Karina was talking to Jesse Lee in the live chat on the the video i think it's still up on jesse lee's channel and she sees karina in the chat and you just see a completely different change in uh, her face so karina has jesse lee's number metaphorically and it's hilarious so check her out if y'all um if you haven't checked her out yet all around <laughs> but it was fine nobody got arrested um but the disrespect for another country's law enforcement You guys should see the pics of how bad my legs were, too. And even seeing the proof of how bad my legs were, they still wanted to make fun of it. You ended up in the hospital a week later? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe they made fun of you. Oh, my God. I'm... Uh, I... I'm so sorry that happened to you. That is wrong on so many levels. And I'm glad that you're okay now, but I am I am disgusted that they treated you like that. We're so focused on being present with our other senses that we were experiencing. We were feeling walls. We were feeling things. We were... Uh, holding the hands of our guides. We were listening to the sound. We were like smelling the smells of the streets. I know this sounds crazy, but smelling the smells of the streets. We were using all of our other senses. We were feeling things with our feet. We were like, okay, I know I'm close to the curb. How close am I? And we would touch a toe down to the street so we could see how close we were. Like our, uh, our other senses, senses were so heightened that every single person was able to get us back home. So a few things that I learned. Um, they're doing it because Jesse Lee does not know how to build individuals on her team. She only knows how to clone her own behavior. She talks about duplication all the time. And you see that because you see the cloned like behavior and they probably get rewarded for behaving like Jesse Lee. And so they become more and more similar because they're looking for that reward type of um, from her because I'm guessing that Jesse Lee does not and again this is a guess that the people who look and sound like her get the praise that maybe they don't get if they try to go out on their own because it does seem like people who bring individuality to the empire are treated as a threat which is wildly interesting how Mateo and Sasha got away with this system that they developed that helped Sasha get to rank 10. And I think the only reason that Jesse Lee accepted it, one, because she treats men and women differently, and two, she needed a rank 10. She needed um, Sasha to get to that rank so that she could get to the top rank in the company. So I think it was self-serving. And that's just my conspiracy theory. One of the huge lessons that I had is as soon as we got to the destination and they told us that our goal was for the blindfolded person to get back the, to the house without a second thought. Blindfolded I person. I, 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 and again, I don't want to speak for someone who's visually impaired and blind oh, slash blind. I know there's a range of sightedness or lack of sightedness. I think this is the stupidest 
and I say stupid because I think this is the most lacking in everything kind of test that they did because can you imagine can you imagine uh, uh, other than developing empathy for someone and uh, who actually is blind why would you do this because if you're if someone who can who cannot see heard that someone was doing this shit i i just can imagine that they're like are you kidding me are you kidding me that's just i don't know I probably overstepped what I should be saying. They care. Good night, all. Good night. Have a good, have a good night, Gerilyn. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. <sighs> my old upline loves J Jesse Lee Ward. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Is your old upline still in, in the MLM? they are send me a dm on insta spam i don't know where we are i'm not good with directions so without even trying to take a second and breathe and be present and focused and turn around and look and see we went this way and this way and this way we we're only like three blocks from the house instead of trying to problem solve i immediately said i'm not good at that i can't do that we do this in our businesses. When an obstacle is presented to us, we self-identify as someone who's not good at that. Is, uh, is this a joke? I think that I understand what she's saying. I think the, the little test that they did by walking barefoot in, in Colombia was was wildly inappropriate why health health risks and you're gonna say oh you're just too scared you just don't even know how to push yourself i know how to push myself i also know how to advocate for myself and make good decisions and listen to my gut and and also make decisions based off of an abundance of information an abundance of information about um germs and dangers of being caught barefoot in a country with a level three whatever it's called a, a level three advisory about reconsidering your trip C getting caught barefoot by the wrong person why am I the only, well, I'm not the only one. The other creators are saying it too. And so are y'all in the live chat. And I'm sure people in the comments are going to say it too. Kira, what's up? Sorry, we're covering Jesse Lee Ward. I, I, I'm just trying to make an, a complete playlist. <laughs> oh. May the calluses on your heels be rough and scratchy on your bed sheets Ugh, and drive you mad. This would be the worst feeling. Wait, I don't see Kira. I missed her. Hello. Kira's incredible. She has a website. Um, she is an activist. She helped get Black Oxygen Organics with Savannah and Kat and Amanda and Jess and others. She helped get an actual multi-level marketing company shut down. Like she's a badass. She did a lot of behind the scene work. Scene works. Um, we connected because I'm an ex Young Living person, and Young Living is on her radar, and so she does a lot of behind the scenes incredible stuff. She has a website that's a great resource for everybody, and she's also super generous. And um, I don't, gave a shit about me when I had no followers on YouTube and no followers on Instagram. And I was just like, life sucks after leaving Young Living and I want to do something. And she was super nice to me and she's still super nice to me. <laughs> so she's great. <laughs> yes, no, we can barely take it. Don't worry about it. Um, thanks for popping in and I will, I'll catch you on the next Young Living stream. <laughs> Oh, I'm not good at live video. I don't know how to do that. 
Instead of seeking solutions, instead of thinking, okay, well, I've never done this before, but what are some things that I can do right now in the next 60 seconds that will set me up for better success? What steps do I need to take and move forward What's up, Sam? in order to be successful? I just found Sam. She's a creator. I found her the other day. Uh, are you, I don't, I didn't check with your pronouns. I assume they were she, her. So, um, but Sam is a anti-MLM creator with this task that is in front of us. So that was the first thing I immediately said, I don't know where we are. I'm not good at direction, not whatever. So the immediate self-talk was like, you're not qualified to do this. This is going to be a challenge for you. So the second that I realized that I was like, oh, okay. I have to, I have. Yes, that was freaking wild. And that was because someone sent me that video in my link. <laughs> so thank you so much for doing that. Um, I don't remember. I have their DM, but that was super. It, it's fraud. It's it's fucking ketone fraud. You know why? Saying that you get better mood, better focus, better energy, bite, better digestion, better fat loss, better sleep from ketones, and you're taking eight injections between one and three times each per week. For sleep, for fat loss, for mood, for um, skin elasticity, so skin, for uh, speeding up your metabolism. <laughs> it is, it is, in my opinion, it sure does seem like fraud. It seems like false advertising. Look around and start figuring out. Which way do we go? Which way do we come from? Was it one turns, two turns? Was it one street, two streets, three streets? We do this in every single area of our life. So that was the first thing. Hey, the second thing was I was getting so focused on step <laughs> by step by step and all of my senses. And I was feeling the walls and I was feeling with my feet and I was listening to the sounds. I was so focused on exactly the task in front that I forgot where I was going. Okay. Because you are blindfolded for no reason. What? So I forgot that I was on this whole mission where I had to go three blocks and find the house. Yes. So I you. had to physically stop my body and I had to think, what have oh, I already you. done? That's very nice of you. Thank you. Have I turned on this street yet or is that still ahead of me? Have I walked down this sidewalk yet or is that still ahead of me? Have I walked all the way down this block or am I only halfway? So I had to stop getting so focused on the, the day, the DM. Why do we need to do this test? Like, why do we need to do this blindfolded test in, in Cartagena, Colombia with no shoes and no socks on? And, and, and you're going to say, oh, well, sometimes you get so focused that you just can't do it. That's what your leader is for, to teach you how to market. Your leader is supposed to teach you how to sell. Your leader is supposed to teach you how to do the things that you don't know how to do yet. It's not just, yeah, we're going to throw you off the boat and sure hope you can swim. No. Your leader is supposed to show you how to use TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and how to speak to the camera and how to tell a story and how to compliantly inform the consumer so that you're not using deception for personal profit. Your leader is supposed to teach you how to do that. It's not just up to you to figure it out. Sure. Are there lots of resources to like figure marketing stuff out? Maybe. Do I hate multi-level marketing? Kinda. Do I think that it is inherently broken? Absolutely. I And I don't like that they put people in danger. And I will keep saying this. You can call me a bully all you want. I find it wild that all of the things that she's bringing up as a validator for why they walked blindfolded and barefoot through the streets of Cartagena, Colombia for little trivial how-to business stuff... If you're not getting that from Jesse Lee, you have a shitty leader. If you're not getting that from your direct upline, which I'm guessing is Jesse Lee, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She just puts out a shit ton of content and some of it's trash. If you actually listen to what she's saying, it doesn't it, there's nothing valuable being said. You just got text on a screen and you've got a funny like transition 
and you don't have a microphone and you just have Jesse Lee talking. Okay. Oh, awesome. She, her. Great. Why? Why? I, I don't know. I think she's trying to mimic Jesse Lee's energy. Obviously, I would not be successful on the Empire. I had to stop focusing so much on the step by step by step DMOs and take a moment to pause and remember where I was going. Does this make sense? We do this in our businesses. Oh we my get God. so focused on checkbox, 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 check. Oh, I did it. I did the reel. I did the TikTok. I did the this. I did this. I did the. You tell them to do that. They've created problems. They've literally told pe their people to do stuff. Then they say, no, you're not supposed to do that because you're not truly looking at the end goal like you're supposed to. You're not feeling each task the way you're supposed to be feeling. You're not thinking about each task the way that you're supposed to be thinking about it. So there's nothing there. You're just going through the motions. You're the one that said complete the tasks at all costs. If you go back several months or years, you're going to hear them say that. And now they're contradicting themselves. Because they walk through the streets of Columbia barefoot and blindfolded. I did this, I did this. That we forget why we're doing all of it. We forget where the hell we're trying to go. We forget who we're trying to impact. We forget the whole big vision. We forget all of the pixels and our vision gets blurry because we're so focused on check, 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 check. Is this making sense? <laughs> okay. I had, I had a lot of takeaways. But the third one that I want to share with you is actually, oh my God, again, so I said comments. I was blindfolded second, which means I led Lindy first. Um, and I also watched other people lead their people. Okay. So Bye, Kira. I Have watched a good night. The, other, the other people that were across the street were, uh, it was a guy and a girl. It was Courtney and Mateo, but that doesn't really matter because you don't know who they are. Um, we do know. Y y are y'all crazy in, I, I say crazy in the most politically correct way I can say it. <laughs> are y'all unaware and uninformed that there's a lot of crossover? If people follow Jesse Lee, they're probably following the people close to Jesse Lee because Jesse Lee tags them in our stories. And if people actually like Jesse Lee, they probably like the people hanging around with her too. So yeah, they do know who mateo is because jesse lee posts about him every other second they do know who sasha is because she posts about him every other second for years we do know who courtney is because jesse lee is courtney's uh kid's godmother what i i don't know why this is irritating me it's just like it's so the lack of unawareness about who your audience is is wild to me as a as a marketer the lack of the lack of knowledge of who their audience is and jennifer said obviously years of ketones did nothing for jesse lee ward until she was approached by a naturopathic doctor to take a bajillion peptide injections and in pills that are not fda approved only really tested on rats yeah and then people are going to see how um Um, I say aesthetic. I'm going to say the ideal person that Brian Underwood would hope promote, would hope to promote ketones is how Jesse Lee Ward looks now. And she didn't make that live available across every platform. The one where she showed bottle by bottle by bottle by bottle, every single thing that she injects into her butt and every single pill she takes. She didn't make it available on every platform. So in my mind, it's a lie of omission. You have not fully informed the consumer that the ketones are not the reason that you are looking the way you look. It feels fraudulent. Yeah. And if you're like, if you end up finding my video and you're still pro multi-level marketing or you are upset by all this coverage and you think that everyone and their mom is bullying your leader, Jesse Lee Ward, or if you're in another multi-level marketing company 
and you're thinking like, holy shit, I'm glad that they're not focusing on my leader. Here's my point of contention. Informed consent, there was none. There was none. Jesse Lee Ward claims they signed waivers. You cannot waive an intentional tort. You cannot waive criminal behavior. Lack of informed consent, unduly influencing someone. And yes, mostly that is for um, elder care and the laws that that applies to isn't specifically in this situation, but it is the means of like using deception to get something where you pre- like you prevent someone from having all the information and you financially benefit or you benefit in some way. I think that that is the case because all of these people feel more invigorated and tied closer to Jesse Lee Ward and she financially gains every single time any one of these top leaders buys from Prove It based off of the compensation plan. That's my big issue. People matter to me even if they're associated with a company that I am not a fan of. I'm not a fan of multi-level marketing. When you start fucking around with people's human rights, I'm going to speak up about it. And I hope that the more I learn, the more I'm able to speak up for other people. The, the one thing, <laughs> um, the one thing that's important is if you have a voice or if you have the ability to even help one person and you can help them, even if you've not gone through the same situation, if you're there to speak up or to help someone else speak up, you do that. And I think people can speak up in multiple different ways. You can speak up in your own life, even if it's not online. You can speak up online. You can speak up in a group. Um, You can speak up in your own way. And speaking up for other people who need help, I think that's important. Oh, you're good, Lynn. Um, where's the video? Um, it's um Jesse Lee Ward versus Science. It's an it's one of my lives. It's the cover that looks different. I have to fix it, but it's Jesse Lee Ward on one side and then Science is on the other side. Oh my god. No. Oh god, sorry. Play. So I was watching both the way he was coaching and also the way that she was finding her own way. And what I noticed about something that he did is I was trying to be very protective of Lindy. Like I didn't want her to run into anything. I didn't want her to like stub a toe. I didn't want her obviously like fall off the curb. I was being very protective to make sure she stayed safe. And Mateo, on the other hand, was was letting Courtney stub her toe. Was what an asshole. Mateo, are you serious? That's the shit. That's the shitty part. Watching someone that you know they're going to get hurt. There's no way for them to not get hurt and you let them get hurt. And we're about to hear Brittany Anderson say Mateo's way was the right way to do it. Are you serious right now? This isn't a kid situation. It's not, you're dealing, you're not like necessarily learning anything. When are you ever going to be blindfolded again? In, in a real life situation where you're not getting um kidnapped oh Mm. yeah there's no ozempic i don't think um based off of we looked up every single peptide in every single bottle and there's one company that she's taking from and a lot of them act like fat burners sorry i need to take my jacket off i might tip it back on i'm i hate having my arms uncovered so okay all right Letting her, like, not, like, crushing into things. We're all moving at a very, very slow pace. But he, like, kind of let her come belly to belly with a tree. He let her come, like, he let her, like, wrap around a pole here. Like, he was letting her, like, physically hit things at a very, very slow pace. It was very soft. It was very gentle. There were no injuries, okay? But... Mateo? She still is defending this dude. (laughs) what are you serious oh that's true harper i didn't think about that in the bedroom blindfolded you're not wrong i'm just mostly mean like out in the open (laughs) out in the open (laughs) 
Yo, I, I, I don't, I'm not creative enough for the live chat. I am not, I am not creative enough for the live chat. I am not. I know I'm not. That's why Harper and Lynn and Beth and Dave are here and everyone else. He was letting her feel the pain in order for her to build a deeper trust within herself that even through. It's not a deeper trust within herself. It's knowing that the person who's supposed to be fucking helping you doesn't give a shit about you. So you can't trust them and you can't trust them to help you out if you're going to hurt yourself. That's what that does. It's not building a bigger trust in yourself. Why am I the I'm not the only one. Why I I'm trying to have empathy and I'm also saying Mateo what shitty behavior. Uh, no, um so she was blindfolded going there and then she can see coming back and her partner is blindfolded or something. They took turns the pains, the bumps, the challenges, she will still find her way. And we do this when we lead people. We try to I... keep them so safe. We try to help them so much. We try to give them so many resources and so many trainings and answer all their questions and help them devise a Because they're learning something new for the first time. Marketing is not easy. Sales is not easy. It's a skill that has to be taught. Marketing has to be taught. Some people are naturally good at it because they're quote unquote attractive, they're quote unquote skinny, they have a they have a like um like a vivaciousness, a natural energy, like the popular kid in school. So people naturally want to be around them. And so when they get on camera or they make posts, people are like, oh, I have developed a parasocial relationship with you. I want to be like you. I want to be close to you. I'm going to follow you. And I want to like all the stuff you're doing. I want to buy all the stuff you're selling because I want to be like you. Some like people like me, we don't have that. So it's like, how do you build an audience? How do you connect with people? How do you like continue to take care of the people who who are subscribers or who give a shit about learning about the dangers of multi-level marketing. How do you take care of people? Okay, here's, and I don't do this great. Try to reply to the comments of people who give a shit about you and, and want to interact with your videos. Shocker. Easy to do. Try to respond to the comments on your stuff that you post on Instagram and don't use it as a vacuum of to suck up all the likes and just hoping people share. Why don't you try to give actual value instead of tricking people to participate in your poll so that you can cold message them? Oh, wait, it's not a cold message because they interacted with your content. So that technically counts as a warm message. Shut up. You're treating it like a game show and you're treating people like pawns and it's awful. People don't know, like, but, like, people don't know how to do that. They don't know how to talk to the camera, and they, we all have nervous things that we do. So, I say so. I also go, um, I also have a little, um, what's it called? I go like that. You hear that? That is a nervous thing that I do. I'm aware of it. It's just, it's not going to stop me from trying to create content or when you're talking to the camera on Instagram, talk like you're having a conversation with one person, like you're at a coffee shop. It, and so, for example, let's say you make a reel or you find a reel that's super funny or a video that's super funny. Let's say I'm having coffee with Dave where he lives because I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, <laughs> I'm gonna invite myself over to his house or something something and I go over to Dave's house and playing with all this dogs and I go oh my god Dave I saw the funniest video here let me show you you take it out and you show Dave you don't say oh my gosh Dave look at this funny video I'm gonna hide it underneath um, a new real thing so that Dave has to then click and look even and, and do more steps it's not a game show just show the stuff that's cool to the person that you want to show it to. I, I just. 
the amount of the amount of fuckery that's going on in the empire is wild the amount of twisty stuff the amount of shaming that they do because they're awful teachers is wild to me oh no what's ouch did i do something bad they're literally treating this like it's really reality tv I don't know if I said something offensive. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was just I was just using it as an example. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all going to Dave's house. I don't know what I did, Beth. Uh, are you okay? I don't know what I said. And a DMOs and answer every single question in two seconds. We try to help them so much that we actually hold them back because when there is the tiniest of bumps, they crumble. When there is the tiniest of bumps, they crash. When there's the okay. tiniest of bumps, they give up. They quit. Like, I can't do this. When you go away for five days and can't be plugged into your business, they're like, oh, my God. I knew it. I knew you were going to leave. I knew it. I just knew I wasn't cut out for that. And they just spiral when you're not there for every single second of every single thing that they're learning. That's because you're not a good teacher. Uh, it, let me give you an example. I am decent at math now. I was not decent at math growing up. And so my dad, after coming home at eight or nine o'clock at night, would eat dinner, go get changed, come back and help me after I got home from tennis late as well until like 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 in the morning helping with math. And so sitting next to him, it was like, oh my gosh, I get it. And then he would say, please teach it back to me. And then I would be like, holy shit, I didn't understand it quite like I thought. So we'd go back and forth until I could teach it back to him and it made sense that I had fully grasped it and I could teach it. Oh, oh, Dave made a joke about dicks hurt. Uh, Hurdy Beth said, ouch. Oh, I'm just saying like you could have all of the duplicatable systems in the world. You could say like, oh, I have all of these scripts. I have all of this stuff. If you're not actually teaching people, then if you're removed, then they might not know how to do it. <laughs> I'm the diabetic on the hike to Dave's. Don't pretend like you guys didn't know. You know, I think we're going to like, you know, do something more fun than tricking people into going on a 15 hour hike. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, thank you, Beth. Um, also, if y'all are new, I don't, um, sometimes I'm like watching and focusing and sometimes I'm not reading the chat. So I miss some stuff. Also, if you're making a joke, um, can you put like sarcastic or, or JK or something if you're talking to me? Cause like I take everything literally and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> and so I actually learned a lot from watching other people, um, coach and lead as well, which I thought there was just so many different takeaways Thank you, Clinton. that like before we stepped out into the challenge, the biggest mental block was that we were barefoot oh my God, yes. in the street. But we're as taking every the hobbits single to one Isengard, of us bitches. went through the exercise, <laughs> that was the least of our worries. That was the least of our challenges because we could feel the different textures of the sidewalk and know where we were. We could feel where we were at in the street. You can't feel where you're at on the street if you have tennis shoes on. So it was kind of like this. <laughs> we're all like, oh, you want us to do what? Oh, gross. Bare feet on the street. Oh, this is that. Uh, uh. Like everyone was like, <gasps> there was a uh, big gasp. You, like the air was just sucked out of the room. They're like, you. take your shoes off. And we're like, <gasps> what? You know, so like your reaction to seeing my pictures was all of our initial reactions. But after going through the exercise, we realized we thought it was going to be this. Yes, I do have a link and I tried to make it easy. So I've set up a form where you can fill out information. You can you can submit screenshots, screen recordings, um, videos if you download them, links to videos um, and like stuff like that. So the I've created the form where you can tell us like priority level of it like hey this is important low medium high and also there's um some other drop downs and then you can either upload i have an unlimited file 
um, Dropbox, so they all of the submissions for this fuckery going on for Columbia, it has a drive that all the creators have access to. And so if you submit it, you can go to um, the link in my bio. Clown Town has the link. Aaron Bees has the link. So like if they share the link, you can go submit and Aaron has access to it. Tish has access to it. Clown Town has access to it. Um, other people do. We're not trying to be like, oh, we broke the story first. Sucks to be all you other creators. No, if you want the, if you want the stuff, just send me a DM. We've made it available to reporters and journalists. And um, I'm trying to, I do have a full-time job and I take contract work right now. Um, so I'm kind of busy, but I'm trying to upload all of the content to unlisted on YouTube as well so that if y'all want to watch just this stuff without my commentary, you can because I know some people prefer that and I get that. So I'm trying to I'm trying to work on that, but sometimes my time is like not available if that makes sense. So like I so I run out of time sometimes. Big huge mountain obstacle. Thank you, Jennifer. And it ended up <laughs> engineer here anytime you need help with math i'm here for it thank you so much i really appreciate that that's so nice of you an anthill so what obstacles are you looking at in your business that you're like oh god this is gonna be so bad this is terrible this is the worst there's no way i can do this i don't oh i just can't do it i don't i there's no way i can make it through this i can't do this i don't know how i'm gonna do this start moving forward what incredible advice. Are you shitting me right now? It, here's the thing. To scoff at people who have big fears or concerns about how to grow their business, those are valid. Just because you've been in the business for five years and you've had some modicum of success and you don't have the empathy to remember how it was when you first started, that's on you. That's on you and Jesse Lee and all the people who are too... um uncaring to learn how to teach well okay what are you struggling with I don't know how to do stories what part is scary for you looking at the camera I don't like how my body is I don't speak very well okay here's some ways you can practice I know Instagram has stuff built in now why don't you download Marco Polo and you can practice sending me sending me um conversations where you're looking at the screen okay so what do I say? Well, here's some outlines of what you can say, not just word for word of like, here's a script to say, you can share parts of your day, you can share a story, you can ask people questions and say stuff like, um, you know, my favorite food growing up was macaroni and cheese. I know, shocker, that's so creative. But I will tell you, I, I don't know, you, you say something like that. And then you engage the audience and you say, now, I've got a question for you. Are you team Velveeta? No, I've got a question for you in the next story slide. So that's your first story. Next story slide. So are you team Velveeta or are you team Kraft? In, in the United States, those are kind of the big mac and cheese brands. And then they answer. And it, you don't just maybe do the words. You say, I've been team Kraft mac and cheese for whatever my whole life. But. If I'm in a pinch, I'll do Velveeta, but that's my question. Are you Team Craft or Team Velveeta? And then you do the third story. And you could say, look, you can only participate in this poll if you are Team Craft. Because here's my question. And this may be this this might be um I may create I may create some enemies over this. I think <laughs> that the Kraft Mac and Cheese and the big blue boxes taste wildly different than the individual serving size cups so can you taste the difference or whatever i don't know you're just being you're just doing things that are easy for people to participate in and it's stupid like it's just it's not about sales you're not gonna you're not gonna message them about ketone shit you're trying to build an interaction and make it easy for people to be like oh my gosh this is a great question or i like macaroni and cheese too or i like pizza too or whatever the hell it is and then you do three stories and that's it you try again the next day. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay, thank you.
Thank you guys. Sorry. I'm like, I've never had this many chat things come in. I'm a slow reader. I was getting ready for a bed. This woman even sounded like Jesse Lee Ward. <laughs> I had to look down and look at my phone to make sure it's still the same person. You're not wrong, Christy. It sounds very much like it. Sorry, I was going on a rant. Anyways, you you have to teach you have to teach people and break stuff down. Like if someone ever says like, "Oh, this person's just not the athletic." No, you just don't know how to teach. And just because so it takes someone a lot longer to do something doesn't mean they won't be able to grasp it. And that's the same case with marketing. It's the same case with sales. The more that you move forward and the more that you stack your confidence chips, like I was stacking confidence both in myself and in my leader by just breathing. This video is almost over, so I'll definitely slow it down next time. I've just never run into this issue before, but it's an incredible Thank you for all for participating. I'm, I will slow it down next time. I'm just, as I'm, so like I was at 600 and I don't know, I was at 600 for a long time, which was incredible. And I had come to the point cause I was like fluctuating up and down. So I was like, am I going to be happy if I just get to hang out with the late night live crew as it is? and do what I can to support other creators and try to get better at making videos if I'm never going to grow. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, you know, <laughs> slower chat, which is great. Um, it's just new to have more people here. <laughs> I'm team Taft. <laughs> it's the gain interaction post. I did it too. It felt so ridiculous doing that crap. Never again. Yep. Give me craft dinner. <laughs> I want a blue box from up north. I've traveled to Canada just to stock up on groceries there. I don't know what Daft is, but I know that there's lots of things that taste way better from overseas than they do here. And being present and being focused. Her face is so sunburned. Like I feel I so this. bad for her. I can figure this out. I can do this. This is something that I can do. I a can problem you created out. yourself. I may have to go a little slower than I would like to go, but I can do this. I can feel my way. I can use all of the resources that I already have. Y'all, nobody gave me a sense of smell. I already had it before I was blindfolded. Nobody gave me my auditory senses last night. I already had them. I just wasn't using my awareness. I wasn't using the tools and resources I already had available at a level that I should be using them on a daily basis in order to move myself, my life, my business, my family closer to my goals and my dreams what let me ask you this would it not be more meaningful if you could use all of the senses that you already have to learn how to run your business better or develop your ability to teach and encourage and break things down so that more people can understand what the hell they're supposed to do instead of saying well you you need to be grateful that you have all your senses. You need to be grateful that you can problem solve because we're going to take a few of them and then you're going to have to figure shit out. Uh, well, why don't we just get better training? And why are we always getting yelled at? I think she's trying. I And I again, I, I, I give people the benefit of the doubt. I know that it irritates the shit out of some people <laughs> who support my channel. <laughs> I can't help it. The reason I give people the benefit of the doubt is because if I don't, then I'm going to start missing things because people change. People can change. Information can differ because if if the um, there's consistency regarding behavior, then that consistency will come out. And it doesn't matter if I at least take longer to say, well, what about this? I think that she's yelling because I think she's trying to Give some kind of energy. If you watch Jesse Lee Ward's lives from nine years ago on YouTube, you see she has a different energy. And then she brought out Boss Lee. This is B.A. Boss Babe, which is different than Brittany Anderson. If you've seen Brittany Anderson on a, in a group live, she's very reserved and quiet. And they all have these alter egos that they use to be on camera. And I also think, so this is 
January 18th. They're getting some pushback from this stuff. It. Why is Brittany commenting on her own posts? Never mind. It doesn't matter. This only has 12 views. Which is very not good for Facebook. Jesse Lee Ward gets thousands and thousands of views. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Is this all making sense? Like this, no, no, this exercise, no. it literally took, the exercise probably took like 20 minutes. They had mapped out 40 minutes for the whole thing and it took maybe 20. Because we each led there and back, there and back. And so there was just so many lessons in that of what tools and resources do you already have access to that you're not utilizing because somebody else is feeding you. Somebody else is giving them to you. Somebody else is there to give you all the things. So you don't even look for the answers because you know if you go ask Sally, she'll deliver them to you. Why don't as a leader, if you really want people to be able to problem solve, give them the tools to be able to do their job and then also encourage them what have you done to be able to solve this problem? What's wrong with asking people questions? This is wild. So you don't even try to remember the way home because you know if you're following Sasha and Mateo, they know the way home. So I had no awareness of the things around me, of what direction we were going, of where we were going, of the things on the street. Like I was looking at like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's whatever. But I wasn't like collecting the whole vision. So sometimes we paralyze ourselves from stepping into our own greatness because we rely heavily on other people. We know so-and-so will give us the answer. We know so-and-so will help us. We know that all of these people will do the hard work for us. If you can't find something, you're like, oh, I don't know where my shorts are. Okay, first off, you got to move your feet to find something. But there's a lot of husbands out there that know if they ask their wife, have you seen my wallet? She will get up and do the work to go find the wallet instead of taking a second to stop and think, where can I visualize myself having my wallet at last? What the hell? Um, gosh darn. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you have a partner and you live together and uh, you give a shit about each other and they are saying, oh my gosh, I'm late for an appointment. I'm looking for my keys. You go look for the keys together. It's not about one person being lazy. You care about the other person, so you go help them find something that's lost because you can find it faster together. What is this nonsense? It's like it's like bringing relationship dramas into a training. Look at the glare that we are experiencing on this call right now. I'm not getting up from my husband's wallet. I mean, fair, 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 fair. I just think like, I don't know. I, I view it as, I, I always say this too, because you have access to your voice or she does. Do you need help finding it? Sometimes he says yes. Sometimes he says no or she. And you know what? If I know where it is, happy to help you. Yeah, they're hanging up on this or actually you left him in whatever i don't know i lose more of my stuff than my husband does i get that it can be irritating i'm just saying like from a different perspective like it's you don't have to get up and help you can say do you need help finding your wallet do you need help finding your keys i just find it for him but he'd be wondering where all the notes went <laughs> oh my god because he knows someone else will do the work for him. Not but that holds him back. Like I know this is a very small example, but it holds him back from being able to have this whole new level of awareness. Like if I knew that if I lost my wallet, there was no one in the world that would help me find it. You bet your backside I would be more vigilant and more aware and more intentional with every single step that I take. So that's my final lesson to you. I hope y'all uh, got some value from that. I hope y'all took some notes. If y'all got some value. Why do we need to take notes if we can just come back and replay the video? What the... 
what's the point of taking notes if you can just come back and replay the video? I literally record trainings for work so that I don't have to keep telling someone the same thing and they don't have to take notes. They can just click on the video and listen and walk through it themselves. Me a favor. All that I ask is that you share this with a friend who needs this, but I gotta go. Why would I want to share this with a friend and be like, oh friend, you should watch this and you're going to get yelled at for 18 minutes and 16 seconds. Love ya. What? I cannot be late. I have to be downstairs ready to walk out the door in four minutes, okay? We don't do late. We're sticking to the time blocks, okay? So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you, Wendy and Alexis and Sharon and Emily and Sarah and Jay and Kristen for hopping on and Ty. I love y'all. I appreciate you. My name is Brittany Anderson. Y'all can also call me hashtag BA Boss Babe signing off and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. We just went from enraged to happy. I don't know what happened. I'm like, the light is being awful. I'm sorry. I'm being vain. It's just when you're not confident, like I'm not confident, it's hard to be like, oh my God, why am I being on camera right now? Oh God, no, I'm going to get slapped. All right, we're back. I'm going to look for one more thing. Um, Let me go over here. Oh, I guess we can't. It's one minute. It's one hour, 45 minutes. I'll just have to do another live tomorrow. <sighs> Okay. Oh, we forgot to take notes. How are we supposed to learn anything from that call? I'm being an asshole. Sorry. I'm being an asshole. I hate it when I'm so mean. Ugh. I found your credit card, babe. <laughs> so she did all of this and is still moving back to Kansas. Just seems odd to me. Is she failing? A great question. Was, well, is he not taking ketones for mental focus? Good question. Maybe they are not the the ketones that uh, do all the things that help Jesse Lee Ward, i.e., the injections. You know, since she apparently they don't apparently work for her either. There is no value or content here. Yeah, like what do we need to take notes on? What do we actually learn? I don't know. I have a weird finder abilities. It's borderline psychic. My mom does too. My mom can literally knows where everything is. Did someone take notes? I'm just kidding. YouTube took notes for us. It's going to auto transcribe it. Night night or good day to everyone. Beth, you're incredible. I hope you have, I guess, what time is it? It's early for you. I hope you have a good rest of your night sleep. BF, where's X? I go to X. Look look at it. Look at BF. Look at X again, then BF again. It's hilarious and gets us both laughing. This is how I find missing things. That's amazing, Christy. All right. Y'all are incredible. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to, I'm trying to update the master, the master list, the list of everyone who's covering the Columbia situation. I'm going to finish updating that tonight. I'm including other creators if you are not on that playlist and want to be on that playlist, uh, just um, like tag me on YouTube or something on your video so I can go find it and put it on the playlist. I'm trying to also put it in chronological order in terms of grouping videos that go together. So just tag me. I'm not being elitist. I'm just busy, you know. So thank you, everybody. Love your gorgeous hair, DC. I'm guessing you don't use Monate. You know, you're correct. <laughs> I, you are correct. Oh, Y'all are incredible. Thanks so much. Uh, if you actually like the video, I would love for you to like the video. And I know you can figure out if you want to see more content from me, you know where the subscribe button is. So I'm going to play the outro. Oh, wait, let me turn the, let me turn the comments off first. Okay. Outro. Goodbye.